So here we are, ready to go racing for one final time this year. Another season of victories, controversies and rivalries lies in our wake. And just one challenge remains here in the United Arab Emirates on a circuit that made its spectacular debut back in 2009. Welcome to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We have 16 corners here at Yas Marina Circuit, seven to the right and nine to the left. It's a total lap distance of 3.28 miles, two long straights and overtaking opportunities throughout the lap. We expect average speeds of around 123 miles per hour. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Lightning lines up on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Norris, Carlos Sainz, and Russell, Magnussen, Ricardo, Bottas, and Lewis Hamilton, Armstrong, Ocon, Pierre Gasly, and Verstappen, Joe, Stroll, Robert Schwartzman, and Mick Schumacher. Oscar Piastri, Albon, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Sonoda and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. It's just about time to go down to the track for the beginning of the race, but before we do, Anthony Davidson, what types of strategy do you think we can expect for today's event? Well, there's a lot that both the driver and the team have to keep in mind when going into a race. The tires, fuel, energy recovery systems, the list goes on and on. But I think the key to today's victory will come down to the pit stop strategy. Come in too soon and you might find yourself needing more than one stop. Too late and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by spending longer on worn tires. So here we are then for one final time this season as we head to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Round 16 out of 16, we already claimed the Drivers' and the Constructors' Championships. So it's pretty much going to be a chill-out race and we're going to hope to end the season in the high like we have and hope for another win. It's another 1-2 to begin with with ourselves on pole position and Dettel in second place. So yeah, overall it's been an ecstatic season from start to finish, just the perfect season to start and finish with and yeah without further ado let's end the season off in a high the formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out positions on the grid with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. Why the fuck is one of the Alfa Tari's sideways? Oh my god, anyway, lights out. And away we go for the finale. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I can't contain my laughter from that. Anyway, into turn one. We come up Vettel and we hold the lead. And actually, he moves down the pace and lets the Claire overtake. Oh my god, that is actually hilarious. Anyway, good start in the beginning of this race. We've got Sal the third catching out, Sebastian Vettel and Carlos Sainz following on this. I'm hoping for at least a win today. Oh, but never mind, if a yellow flag will happen. I think there might have been a bit of a contact on the back there. Here comes Charles Leclerc, meanwhile. Sort of making a move, there's just no opportunity there for him. We 
your head sector three. Much slower in this sector as it's been revamped. Some of this energy, come on. Well, the Mercedes and a half go into the pit. So that must have been why the yellow flag was brought out. Away with underbody damage there. So our front right is overheating a little bit. No wonder why I'm struggling to turn throughout that corner. No tire concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. That was a pretty waste of the video. Fuck's sake. Oh my god, Beth was like. What the fuck? How did you catch up that quick? Here comes Sebastian Vettel. Down the inside, we try to stick it around the outside. But he makes the move when he tries to fight back. Nah, Vettel's gotten past. Trying to go for a move to get a bit of underbody damage. Oh, shit. Go around the outside. The vessel's still coming back. He backs off and you get the move done. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That was scary. The McLaren and the Ferrari is coming into the pit as well. And I think that's it. Perfect nice job. Two, four, three, three seconds stop. Lovely. Like nice stop time. 
Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Come out ahead of Leclerc. Now we need to put in a good outlap and hopefully catch up to Sebastian. Sebastian's in for his stop. Oh, Ricardo's slowing us up. Where's the The other body's taken a little bit. Just about to get ahead of them. And I don't think the two red bulls have pitted yet. That's Armstrong just ahead. Push hard. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is 3.6 seconds. They're on old medium. Yeah, they're on old medium. Okay, their tyres are seven laps old. We think they've got one more stop. Last lap was a 128.0. Alright, so them not have a pit, so. Alright. Don't worry about them not behind. Alright, so that's good news. Nice. Look at the timing of that side. We're still catching up to that red ball. Now we get the RS. That's on side for some places. No, it's side for the fair actually. On Armstrong locks up, so we're pressing into a mistake. And that's a free position for us. Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place. wide and Vettel has an opportunity to go down the inside. Just about cover him off. Oh, he's putting so much pressure. Step down the inside, we're going to try and squeeze him. He's still holding on though. Look how close he is to our wing, Jesus. Too close for comfort.
just have thought about it. Oh my god, look how quick he is. Yeah, that's the RS thing. He's got his engines turned up to the max, so I don't know if he can do. Pretty intense last two laps. The TRS and the RS. We're going to try and make it around the outside. Vessel has squeezing us off. We go around the outside. Vessel has better traction than us, but we aren't the back. We're still going side by side. Breaking at almost the same time. We squeeze Vessel off and he backs out. been a fantastic season throughout, 20 plus podiums, both championships won, an unstoppable driver lineup, and we become victorious once again, sliding our way to the finish line and we win the finale. Talk to me, Amps. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on track was, speed. I know it sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Let's give it to Esteban Ocon. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. With that result, the sport's newest team can no longer be touched at the top of the table. What an incredible journey this has been for a team many had written off a short time ago. They are the Formula One world champions. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Well done. That is season three done and dusted. We finish off with 621 points in total as a team, beating Ferrari by 303 points. Charles Leclerc beats Max Verstappen by 10 points, finishing third in the Drivers' Championship. And ourselves and Vessel, one and two, beating him by 59 points. Wow, pure dominance at its finest. I don't know what to say, just absolutely fantastic. Where's Verstappen? Verstappen, fin Verstappen finished in 20th. What the hell has happened to Verstappen? Well, hang on a minute. So these two had, okay. what, okay. Oh, Verstappen started in hard and he had to change, repairs his front wing. Oh, but that's why then. Huh. Well then, that is it. The team's income is looking very robust right now. It's time for you to have a think about our profit margin and what areas of the operation might benefit from that money. All right, that is it for season three and today's episode of Mighty Crew Now, I don't know if I'm going to be continuing for season four. 
I'm not quite sure. And if I will, then it might be just a 10 race season. I'm not so sure. I will keep you guys up to date. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching this video. And of course, staying tuned to the series. Be sure to like and subscribe and put your personal notifications on. And I will see you lot in the next video.